That's kind of just scary. Welcome to inland central Queensland. It's hot, it's dry, and it's pretty flat. That is, until you spot Blackdown Tablelands. The drive-in takes you through cattle country. The road is sealed all the way up into the park, but then things get a little bit wild. Driving into this iconic national park literally feels like stepping into another land. This land must hold many stories. And today we get to make it a part of our story too. What a privilege that is. Let's go. So some of this road going into where we're starting our hike today is pretty rough. What do you reckon? A little busy right now. <laughs> it's so rough. Check it out. That was pretty wild for a two wheel drive, eh? It's, I don't think it's really meant to do this. It is not meant to do this. So if you come here, four wheel drive would be absolutely amazing. Or just something that has- Something with clearance. Good clearance, definitely. For sure. <laughs> We're laughing like half, you know, half adrenaline. Half, half panic. Half panic. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of hysterics. <laughs> we still need a four wheel drive, eh? Yeah, we do. Oh my gosh. This has just amplified the need today. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to happen. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Today we are out at Blackdown Tablelands National Park and we are walking down the Gudagumu track to the Rainbow Falls. The trip in was fun. <laughs> it was a bit wild, wasn't it? <laughs> wow. But it was, it was reassuring when we got here that we weren't the only car not designed to be here absolutely so that's reassuring but there was some absolute <laughs> monsters in the in the car park too which i was a bit envious of yeah but um well we we're here and i've calmed down a little bit we've had a little <laughs> bit of sugar just to calm the nerves <laughs> oh, sounds weird but here man. we are and um yeah we were just saying on the way here we definitely do need a four-wheel drive don't just we? something toyota we're looking at you <laughs> <laughs> Let's get going. The walk down to Rainbow Falls is four kilometers return. So you can walk to a lookout section and then there's another 200 meters or so down to the bottom of the falls. Excuse me, little fella. Come on, let go. There you go. What is it? I don't know. I don't know. It's like an inchworm. Oh, it's so cute. He was dangling in my face. Nice. So these trees are covered in these tiny little seed pods and you can hear. The seeds shaking inside. They're really quite delicate and pretty. I just found these little fruits here in the tree and I'm not quite sure what they are. Let's have a look. You can see they're all on this vine covering the trees. They're really rectangular in nature, so they're quite unusual. This one down here looks a lot more ripe. They're a bit furry to the touch. We just saw a nice big goanna and these two um, grey wow. butcher birds were right up it, weren't they? Yeah, they weren't happy. <laughs> they weren't happy that he was around. And then as soon as I tried to video him, he um, started taking off into the bush. Oh, wow. Big rocks. You could explore through here for ages. Let's go and have a look up yeah. that way, over there. Massive rocks, eh? Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. There's a whole other ecosystem down there. Look at all the palm trees. Yeah. Some beautiful palm That view over there is going to be amazing. Ferns down here. Yeah, let's go and check that out. That looks amazing. Counting. Okay. 
Isn't it incredible? I can hear people swimming. Yeah, that's why we have to head down. Over here is where we swim. Look at this tree. I'm just fascinated by it. Look at the the shape and the colour. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is just freaking epic. It is amazing. It's just like a whole other world. <sighs> Cannot wait to get in that water. How about you, Don? Oh yeah, I'll do it. Are you actually gonna swim today? I think I will today. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> what? This is amazing. We're such a long way up. Yeah, you can see so far out over that way towards Rocky. Yeah. Well. All right. Let's head to Rainbow Falls. 240 steps. Yay. I love steps. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. We get a reward once we get there. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is incredible, you guys. Check it out. I'm going to go and stand down there so you can see how big that is. little skink down here he just keeps sticking his head out he's down in the crack of that rock look at these trees oh wow they're nice look how delicate it is on the end amazing hey see those See those big rocks there would have came from that sh like shelf there, like they've broken off just there, I reckon. 
there's another real big one over here too. Look at that. That would have dropped down from up there. That would have made a heck of a bang, huh? Whew. Pretty amazing. We just had the most amazing swim here at Rainbow Falls. This water is pristine. It is absolutely beautiful. You can see the bottom. It's just gorgeous and so refreshing after that hot hike in. We're now going to hike up to the top of the falls where apparently there are more swimming pools that we can enjoy. Let's go. Snack time. Mm, a bit stale. Yeah, but <laughs> that's what happens when they stay in your bag for weeks and months on end. That's what you had in your bags. Yep. Thanks, darling. Mm -hmm. We can hear them all running through with you, mm. eh? Let's just, At least this, I hope it's skinks it and is. not a this bloody whole big forest is just full of them. Note rope or something like that. Mm. That wouldn't be fun. Just there, I think. Oh yeah. I don't know. Can you see that in here? Mm. I took a photo of Bit one. Bit of a earlier. challenge. You it's might. a good size, that one. Mm. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 200. <laughs> 200. That's it. We're done. We're done. Not. I'm a bit unfit. You're unfit. <laughs> oh, Don. Oh. Check out this gum tree, though. Look at the trunk here. It's all lumpy. Super cool, eh? Look at these cool little berries. So we're just walking through this sandy section now at the top of the ridge and apparently it's not too much further to the pools up here. Gosh, what a wonderland, eh? Look at that. Look at those rocks. Amazing plant life. So many species of plant here that I've just never seen before. It's so cool to be in a different area where so much is new to you. Look at all of these white flowers, they're tiny. They look like a little Gerald and Wax flower. Deep, eh? Yeah. <laughs> 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 We met some really cool people at the rock pools just now. Shout out to you guys if you've managed to find the video. Welcome to the channel. 
Alrighty, so we are now walking back the way we've come, but we're going to a little sidetrack that takes us to the top of Rainbow Falls. Let's go have a look. So the water actually runs along the creek there. This log plugged that hole. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh my gosh, that's so cool! Oh, you got a camera. Oh, there is steps. Oh, wow! This is amazing. Look at the rocks. Check this out, guys. Beautiful plant life down here. Going underneath this massive stone slab, you can see where it's just joined here, but it's actually split and just sitting there. And then down underneath here, look at that, how the water's just formed that rock. That's where we waddle through oh. underneath yep. the, um, like that. Like that. the cliff. <laughs> it didn't like Gone. Where we were swimming. Oh wow. Isn't that looking amazing? Gosh, that was so beautiful down there. All right, back up we go. What is that? Don't know. Can you hear that? It's like a mad cicada. It's like a cicada on steroids. Yeah. <laughs> it's going off. <laughs> well, we are cooking on our way back up to the car. Yeah. It is hot and it's all uphill on the way back. But that's okay. Very still. If there was a breeze, it would be manageable, but yeah. there's just not. Looking forward to getting back to the air conditioning in yes. our car. The car is going to stink. Yeah, it is. But hey, it's going to smell like living, isn't it? Mind you, it is like 1.45 in the afternoon, which is one of the hottest times of the day to be out hiking. But hey. We tend to do that regularly, don't we? Well, see, the problem comes is when you've got to drive somewhere, yeah. you get up early to get here. But you still don't get off and away until like... And then like, you realise the little track in that's only 10 k's long <laughs> is takes you just as long to drive. There. Absolutely. Yeah, it took us another hour just yeah. to drive at like 7 k an hour coming in over it's all of those ruts. Right. Yeah. Well, we are off. Yeah, we are. Back up to the horseshoe lookout. Yeah. But first we have to navigate all of these roads again. <laughs> And yes, I'm red, very red. All right, so here, here's some of that crazy two-wheel drive crap that we're talking about. Are you ready? All right, let's send it, husband. Well, rough corrugated road surface ahead. Only four wheel drive vehicles are recommended beyond this point. Severe weather damage to the unsealed road has made it unsuitable for two wheel drive vehicles at this time. <laughs> well, maybe for some. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's something. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that amazing?
Вот. The hot afternoon sun was blasting us here, but I could have stood here forever. It's at times like this you truly feel connected to the world. You can see there's a fire burning down here in the valley. Um, there's been a lot of burning off happening around here, which is actually an amazing thing for our national parks. Don and I were just saying that um, a lot of the undergrowth has been burnt out and it's really got this beautiful new growth coming through. It's really, really good for our environment. So wonderful to see them doing those controlled burns. Of course though, the view would be magnificent on a, a much clearer day, but you get the idea. What an incredible place to visit. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Excellent fun. Yeah. Yes. Gosh, I'm a bit worn out though. I am a bit. I was concentrating a little bit there on <laughs> driving back out again and trying not to die. <laughs> oh, man. Funny after, you know, dodging all of those potholes, yeah. I missed the sign saying we shouldn't be doing this. Well, I didn't see the sign either. And to be well, honest, if we'd seen the sign, would we have ignored it probably? <laughs> I've been wanting to see this place for ages, so there's no way I was not driving out to I those know. pools. Like if we, yeah, we've seen that. After driving all the way out here, mm -mm, we give her a crack. Yeah, we'd definitely give it a crack. Anyhow, um, thanks so much for coming along on today's adventure with us, guys. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. We're, I'm very thankful that we did come out and make the effort. It's an absolutely beautiful place. Today I have seen um, plant life here. I've never seen yeah. anywhere else. Yeah. It has just been magnificent. Um even some of the birds we haven't seen. No, I didn't capture those on um, camera, Sneaky unfortunately. Sneaky little suckers, aren't they? Yeah. They're very fast. And we were here in the heat of the day. So, mm. you know, you're not going to see a lot of wildlife out in the heat. It's usually, you know, in the early mornings, late afternoons, you're going to see those kinds of things. So, mm. Go the, away. the water was cool. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it was. <laughs> but Don still went in. At least he went in I once. I went in once. Yeah, yes. yeah. It was um, it was absolutely beautiful. <laughs> um, definitely worth it and lovely to walk back being nice and wet. Cool, guys. Well, we're going to leave this video here. Please make sure that you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already to see more of these kinds of adventures. Also, if you could just drop a like and a comment down below, that would be amazing. It would really help our channel to grow. We're going to be heading off on another adventure very soon to Great Keppel Island. Great Keppel, yep. Yeah. A couple of days of work and then we're into it. Yeah, so stay tuned for that one. All right, guys. See you next time. So you can see here, this is what I'm talking about with the cool burn. So this is an actual planned fire and they're just burning off all of that undergrowth and the grass. You can see it's lit through here. Good job to the people who are doing this because it's really looking after our Aussie bush. <laughs>